Okay, so today we're going to show you how to set up an excavation square. So set up a grid on the ground, uh, which has four nice, neat right angles. We're going to be using Pythagoras' theorem, uh, and it's going to measure three by four meters uh, in the hypotenuse. So if you haven't worked out what a hypotenuse is, better go and look that up. Then the hypotenuse will be five meters. So today, that's um, me, Nigel Chang, Danny England, and Tate Devania Thomas. Excellent, so this is our little team and we'll um, show you how to do all of this over the next few minutes. Four flat tent pegs. Eight long tent pegs. Rubber mallet. 30 metre tape. Eight metre hand tape. Builder's string compass and calculator. So we've established our baseline and our south to north axis and it's longer than four meters. So uh with this baseline, now that it's all set up, we'll measure everything off the baseline. Uh, this makes mapping a lot neater and cleaner and it reduces the area in the mapping. Okay, so now that we've established our baseline, we need to put two pegs in the ground on the baseline exactly four meters apart along the baseline. So now we're gonna set up the first corner out from the baseline, so Danny's over on the baseline over there, and we're going to put a peg here. So the first thing we need is to run our hypotenuse from the far peg to here, and that, if that is four meters long, this line here is going to be three, and the hypotenuse is going to be five, and that will give us a right angle corner. We want to make sure that both Tape measures are straight and pulled out nice and tight where the five and the three cross over. Exactly where they meet is where we put the peg into the ground. So that should now make a perfect right angle over where Danny is. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is do the exact opposite. So we'll take the hypotenuse from that corner out over here and three meters from Tate at the far end um, in this direction and see where they cross over and that will give us our other corner in the back over there. So one of the things you need to be careful of here is to make sure you know where the zero point on the tape measure is because it's not always the same on every tape measure. Um, use a thin peg uh, and have the end of the tape measure right up against the peg that you're starting with. Uh, if you don't, if you're not if you get a couple of centimetres out here, then all your other measurements will be complicated and incorrect. Okay, so now we're going to do the next corner. So once again, we have five metres on the hypotenuse, and then we'll meet it with the three metre length. So now we're going to check that we've done this all correctly. So if we've done this right, it should be four metres from, uh, from that corner to this corner here. Perfect. So uh, it's important when we do measurements like this that all your strings and your tape measures are tight, uh, otherwise your measurements will be slightly off. So uh, now we're going to run a string line around the outside so you can see the square and then once that's done we'll go in and show you another refinement to make your, your square more accurate. Okay, so you can see the edge of our corner here, edge of our square. Um, this works for now and it's alright, but once we start to excavate, that peg's eventually going to fall in. So we will set up uh, offset pegs, so further back on either side, uh, to create the same corner, just not relying on that central peg. Uh, and these pegs can stay throughout the excavation for a long period of time. Okay, so now that we have the string tied to our first pair of offset pegs, 
uh, we're going to line up the peg, uh, line up the string directly over the top of the, the peg uh, because where the two strings cross, that will be our corner. So. So we have our offsets now, which now means this cross here is now the corner of our square. So when we pull this peg out, we still know where the corner of our square will be. Okay, so now we have all those corner pegs removed but we still have a corner set where these strings cross uh, and we can leave this set up in place for weeks to months while we do an excavation, so. Okay, so we've shown you how to set up a square. Hope that made some sense. Uh, you'll have a chance to practice it and do it yourself now, whether you do it in class on campus or you do it um, at home. And then we'll give you some options, some easy, uh, easy, quick and easy and cheap ways of doing it at home as well. So it doesn't have to be the whole big size square like this, it can be a small square as well. But for now, that's it from Danny <laughs> and Tate. <laughs> we'll see you later with the next one. Okay, bye now. Bye. Not to say my whole name, that's <laughs>